All right, welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at EFS Potato. So this machine that we're on up here, this Windows machine like right uh, up here, it is it has Defender running. So things like Juice Potato, Juice Potato IG, things like that will not work. God Potato, I have seen work. However, we're going to look at EFS Potato uh, CS. So you can go ahead and you can download that from this site over here. I'll go ahead and drop it into the terminal so you guys can actually see it. There you go. Okay, so we can drop that into the from this site over here. We can go ahead and grab that. Um, EFS potato right there that's CS so once we grab that let's go ahead we got to put it out of the machine right so let's go ahead and do a W get for that yep looks like we did type it in yet W get HTTP and we're gonna put in my IP address correct from there we're gonna say slash EFS potato dot CS uh, attack O we say EFS potato dot CS and I believe I have a web server up and running maybe I do not doesn't look like I do actually Go ahead and get that web server up right first. There we go. Okay, so now we have EFS Potato on here. From here, what we can do is we can go ahead and we have to make it an executable. And we're going to do that by using the .NET framework that Microsoft has. But one problem with this machine is this is looking for version 3.5. If we go ahead and we CD into here, we'll see that that version 3.5 does not actually exist. So if we do a DIR on that, that .NET framework, we'll see that we're on version 4.0 point whatever right so we can go ahead and just run that throw that version in slash and then we can go ahead and we can throw in the rest of the command here so csc efs potato no ward and that if you're on x86 machine it says how to do it for the x86 with a platform down there but we don't need that right there so we'll do that efs potato cs we get that no ward and this will go ahead and run now efs potato what you can do with this is once you run the executable, so now if we do a DIR, we see that there's now an executable in there. Once we run this executable, we can put commands behind it, such as in, let's say, who am I? And there we go. We see that we are NT authority system, or we can, you know, create a new user, such as net user caret, password exclamation point, slash add, and then we can do something along the lines of, I don't know, net local group, administrators, slash add carrot right so we could add a bit of the administrators group we could change the administrators password because we are at t authority systems so we could have said net user administrator uh then put in a new password for him and there we are okay so we could do a lot of stuff with this with efs potato i have noticed if you make a callback to yourself especially with defenders on then usually that callback will break in about a minute or so uh utilizing netcat or something like that but we could do a lot of stuff out here. We could turn on, let's say, WinRM, create a new user, put it in the administrator's group, and then go into there. To turn on WinRM, we do something like quick config. All right, quick WinRM, WinRM config, I believe it is. Something of that nature, okay? So we could do different things like that, right? And that will allow us that's that will allow us to be able to utilize our increased privs for whatever we want. We could also maybe load in uh, Mimikatz or something like that, drop down hashes. I have yet to try that, so let me go ahead and try that real quick. Because I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, so let's go ahead and CD into tools. Right. And let's see if we can't do a EFS potato. I don't know if this is running on um, command prompt or PowerShell. I don't know which one it actually runs on. Uh, but let's just go ahead and just, we'll just try with a curl. Okay, so we'll try to curl for um, my IP address here. Actually, no, we're going to try wget because then we'll know what's running on. wget HTTP slash um invoke mimicats.ps1 taco invoke mimicats.ps1 and i don't know if this is actually gonna take it or not just because yep it changed so we we are trying to download it so we're most likely running on uh powershell but what we try with this is maybe like an iex iwr or now that we are administrator technically we could just shut down the uh Defender, but we can always try something like this. IWX, IWR, use basic parsing. Throw in the rest of this. Again, to try to put it into memory, maybe. Uh, don't know if AMSI is going to catch us or not. This we'll find out. Okay, it looks like AMSI catches us on that. So now what I'm wondering is if we could set up multiple commands and maybe do something with a cat, scripts, AMSI bypass. If this one doesn't work, I'll just go ahead and I'll work out doing something like this um, and see what I can do with that, right? But I wonder if we could do something like this and then there and set up two commands at once okay it looks like it still doesn't like it because it contains something malicious let's go ahead and try that again nope okay so i wonder if we just run it like this then with just that msi bypass in there if that works 
Okay, it does not like that at all. It doesn't look like so. That'll be something I have to work out later on. I just wanted to see if we were we would be able to get around uh, the antivirus like real quick or something like that. But this is definitely um, power strike right here. So we could always try. There also is an MSI by, by, bypass uh, dot ps1 file too that we could also try to um, but or MSI fail or something like that. You know, we can always try things like that. I just want to see if we can do like this like real quick. But we did create an administrator user. And uh, we can now log in as administrator user as needed. All right, so hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, EFS Potato was a new one for me. So finding that and then utilizing it, I thought it was pretty cool, especially since it's a CS uh, document. So and Windows compiles it right out itself there. So have a good one.